Tom Selleck would never carry water for anyone, but he might steal it. The Caligas Municipal Water District says that a tanker truck stole water from a hydrant more than a dozen times and hauled that water to Tom Selleck's 60-acre ranch. They found this out by spending $22,000 to hire a private detective, probably James Rockford. I'm not surprised. Selleck has been wasting water since the 70s in pursuit of that fresh, manly scent of his. Look. Safeguard's deodorant lather is so effective, it doesn't need heavy perfume. Safeguard gives you naturally clean-smelling skin. Now we smell so fresh. What about me? I use a deodorant soap. That's just it, Jeffrey. You smell like a deodorant soap. Safeguard doesn't need heavy perfume to mask odor because it's so effective at removing the cause of perspiration That's odor. Right. Good morning. Good morning. He smells just the way a man should smell. <laughs> Clean. <laughs> well, if he's guilty, he should be punished. There's nothing worse for the environment than water theft. Except maybe flying around in a private jet to lecture people on global warming. But who would ever do that? Camille, did you see how brilliantly I pulled that around to make it about Hollywood hypocrisy? I did. I thought that was great. Um, I think the whole thing, though, is a testament to the power of facial hair. I did not recognize Tom Selleck in that video. You did not? Yeah, I didn't. He was okay. still very handsome. Here we go. Oh, really handsome. Here we go. Show of hands. Who recognized the two ladies who closed out that commercial? Anyone? I was looking at Tom really? Selleck. Really? I was too fascinated by Tom Selleck. Yeah. Wait a minute. Famous ladies. Pull it back. I, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Tom Selleck is really Someone handsome. Someone tell me in my ear. Someone. I'm not going to tell you. We're going to leave it for the folks at home. They're, they're going to be surprised that you didn't recognize those two famous actresses in that video. We were video. mesmerized by Tom yeah. Selleck. That commercial yeah, was so famous it. that in grammar school, I used to, that was my pickup line in like fourth grade. I would go up to the girls and I'd say, hey, what about me? I used a deodorant soap. I would use that. How old are you? Because that commercial was from like 1968. No, no, it was the 70s. Uh, okay. Julie, I'm going to expect yes. a full-throated defense of Leonardo DiCaprio for that obvious. I thought it was Al Gore. I thought it was a subtweet to Al Gore. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. I didn't even know what guys. you were doing. Okay. All of those hypocrites. That's what that whole <laughs> thing was for. It was a setup for them. Yes. I'm and Tom gonna... Selleck, a gun-toting right winger, <laughs> should not be, you know, breaking fire hydrants. No, I don't tankers think of water. We are giving him grief. Yes. For pulling a, a, a water plug. A heist. When, when Al Gore is, has a house, his house is like three miles long, isn't it? I, I've been there. It's at least and seven miles Leo long. Leo DiCaprio <laughs> flies around burning fossil <laughs> fuels. He does, and forests. Yes. And supermodels. Yes. Mm. That's yes. my point, right? He set a supermodel on fire? He, he set the hearts of many supermodels on fire. Mm. Yes. Wow. Oh, very wow. romantic. Yes. All right, so go ahead. Blame Tom Selleck. So here's my question about Tom Selleck. This is what I'm confused about. He apparently busted fire hydrants and pulled up tankers 12 times? How does this work? He has an avocado farm. He needs a lot of water. <laughs> so he pulled up, he backed up a tanker to a fire. I'm from New York, so I'm confused as to how this works. He pulled up a fire hydrant up to a fire hydrant with a tanker 12 times. Was he driving? Uh, listen, uh, I'm it's sure him and his wife that got busted. Yeah, I'm sure, yeah, he had hired You think he had a guy? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had a guy who heisted a fire hydrant? Uh, yeah, I'm sure maybe, Tom yeah. Selleck. That's really, that, that's, well, that's well. That's well. Come on. You think Look. it's that British guy on oh, yeah. um, um, Magnum P.I.? Uh, you guys are making light of this. He is, he's, he's actually reached a settlement with these folks. As, we, as this story is breaking, he's reaching a settlement. I'm getting the news in my ear. Kevin, <laughs> listen, uh, he may be guilty, but hasn't the show Blue Bloods done more to repair the image of the police, <laughs> of the black community, uh, right? So shouldn't we let them off? I think so, man. Honestly, you know, in any situation, uh, I will say that I respect the hustle. The man is sitting there, <laughs> and they're telling him, you can only have this much water. And he's like, well, there's a fountain over there. Yeah. There's a bunch of water coming out of that fountain. I can just drive up this truck, or I can get whoever to go drive up this truck, and then I can feed my avocados this water. Because here's the thing, man. In the past couple of years, I've just been getting in avocados, and they're dope. So, if someone's going to tell me I can't have my avocados in my yard, I'm going to do something about it. And that's what Tom Selleck is doing. Yeah, and he's providing avocados for all of us, yes. isn't he? Yeah. Wow. Yes. yes. Tell me, you are so excited. If the price of my guacamole goes up in Chipotle, I will know that at least Tom Selleck tried to prevent that from happening. Wow. That's right. The man's arguably a hero. But wow. listen, a very wise man uh, once said that uh, celebrities are just better than us. Yeah. <laughs> they are. Uh, I believe uh, this man with uh, André Levé... Uh, they, they're just better than us, and, and we need to understand that they get special treatment. Uh, I, I want to show how, uh, how young and out of touch 
Joanne is. Do we have that video of her announcing the name of Tom Selleck's TV show uh, one time on Red Eye? Go ahead. From the show Magnum Pi. <laughs> <laughs> she read the prompter. <laughs> and it was Magnum Pi. Yeah, a show about very large pastries.